Hi everyone, it's Miss Cole and I have another poem to share with you. This one's pretty serious, so I'm sort of vibing that today. This one's called We Lived Happily During the War, and it's by Ilya Kaminsky. And when they bombed other people's houses, we protested, but not enough. We opposed them, but not enough. I was in my bed. Around my bed, America was falling. Invisible house by invisible house by invisible house. I took a chair outside and watched the sun. In the sixth month of a disastrous rain, in the house of money, in the street of money, in the city of money, in the country of money, our great country of money, we, forgive us, lived happily during the war. It's definitely accusatory. I like that it doesn't say what war it's talking about. I'm not even really sure when it was written, honestly. Um, it says Kaminsky was born in 77. So, but there's nothing to say that it couldn't have been about an earlier time. I think it is somewhat timeless. The use of the word enough, that's, that's a word that I struggle with. How much is enough? When have you done enough? You push yourself too hard, you're going to break. And then what's the point? You know, you can't do anything if, if you break and you wear out. But when is it okay to take a break? And when are you just making an excuse and not doing what you could? This poem doesn't offer any easy answers or any answers to that question, really. If you get a chance, I'm going to try, I'm going to try to remember to put a link down in the description. If you get a chance to look at it, um, look at the, the way the lines are set up and the spacing, some of the repetition, invisible house by invisible house by invisible house. It feels kind of like, you know, you're looking down the street and just at the end, you know, falling and falling, coming closer, but still in the distance. There's also a sense of, you know, we, we didn't do enough, but when you're in a situation like that, where like one thing that you do isn't going to make a significant difference, it can be paralyzing. This is bigger than me. What can I do? You live with it as best you can. And if you're in a position of privilege, you might be able to live comfortably, even happily while you know the world is changing significantly and not for the better they bombed other people's houses we opposed them there's this nebulous them who are they they're people too they're, they're the enemy i'm not really sure who they are it's hard to fight something that you can't really identify and in many cases, there's work against that. There is propaganda that identifies like this enemy that we should be fighting against. And when you look deeper, it's almost always more complicated than the sound bites and the headlines will make it seem. Um, and I think that comes across here. It's, it's just them. And we, we tried to do something, but we weren't entirely sure what to do. We opposed them. How? We protested. What do we protest? All of it's very vague and nebulous. Sixth month is interesting. It's an interesting choice. So I, it gives us the idea that this has been going on for some time, but not forever. It's relatively recent, but it's been going on for a while and we haven't been able to stop it. We haven't been able to make a significant difference. So what do we do? It's hard to know what to do sometimes. It definitely takes a stance against uh, consumerism and isolationism. Like, you know, hey, this isn't affecting me yet. So I'm just, I've done my part. I protested. I, I voiced my opposition, but I'm, I'm just going to live my life because I can afford to. It definitely takes a stand against that. But it doesn't offer us the, the comfort of saying, well, here's what you should do. Unfortunately, that's, I mean, it's going to depend on the situation and it leaves it up to us. So this is a poem that's uncomfortable. 
and challenging, and it's supposed to challenge us, hopefully, to think and reflect and hopefully to act. I would invite your reflections down in the comments. You know that I am a sucker for comments. I love getting comments. I'll try to see if I can find a link to this poem and share it with you guys. Thanks again for listening. Thanks for your comments. And I hope you have a lovely day. Bye for now.